Hey, what's up guys? Yep, I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to go for our beloved Avid. I'm using Avid Media Composer 2019.8, the subscription model, running on a Mac, as obvious. And I'll tell you what, they've really done well with Avid. They're really going in the right direction. I have found something with the IMF export, which I think can actually cause a bit of a problem. Um, I've never really seen it before, so I'm going to walk through it. Now, the one key thing here is that Avid can only spit out single IMFs, so you can't use supplemental packages, you can't bring in CPLs at this stage. I can only assume that's going to grow in choice. It's the same as Flame, they only export a single asset out. So unlike uh, DaVinci Resolve, where you can export a single IMF um, uh, pack uh, container out, and you can bring that back in and then add supplemental packages, these guys, I think, are kind of trying to catch up. But let's go through it. I'm going to show you the gotchas that I've just seen, and I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be a big problem in the future. Personally, I think it is. I might actually log it as a bug, so let's go through it. So, just got a file and jumped into a sequence. Your sequence, sorry, your projects, not sequence, your project needs to be set up as a progressive project. So you immediately have to start up as like a, I've got a 1080-25P. If you're in UHD, it has to be P. If you're in a current inde uh, interlaced project, and you try to export it, the feature will be grayed out. Now, there's probably some avid boffins out there that can go, no, Craig, you're stupid, you do it like this and you press these 27 different keys, but if you're just starting and you're loading it up and away you go, you will see that it'll be grayed out and you'll be scratching your head. So, progressive project kids out there. Okay, so, crack out a sequence, right click on it and go output and go to export to file. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna stick it on my desktop because I'm a mucky pup. Um, this is an Avid one that someone supplied to me, so that's fantastic. I hit my options. Now, if I jump into here, um, if I'm interlaced, you'll see that would be grayed out, but it's not. I'm happy days. Uh, I'm just going to do J2K for this argument. And beautiful bit down here, Avid. Well done. Well done. The metadata is a great thing. So I'll put in the clock, advertisement, me, the, and a whole bunch of gibbly gobbly gobbly just to kind of prove a point. So, save this out. Um, save it down to desktop. I've already told you that computer. So Avid, when I started in 97, on Avid, Media Composer, it had 9 gig of storage. It was like 30 minutes of SD. Um, AVR back there. AVR 77. God, remember that. So, uh, and close to a quarter of a million bucks. Now I get it for 25 Earth pounds a month for Avid Media Composer. Blows my mind. So, while that's done and finished, I'm going to hide this down and then I'm going to take you out and show you what I think is quite interesting. Now, the beauty of IMF is that it is non-human human readable stuff, which means it can't screw itself up. Now, what's quite fascinating here is that the CPLs are in this unique UID or unique ID. The video and the audio are at all zeros. Tremendously odd. So if I grab this and then line it up against, say, a flame one that spat out, and do this and do this, and this is kind of with Resolve as well. So I haven't seen it in the other package that they've done different ones. So as you see, the video and the audio, forgetting this, is that's kind of in purpose what's going on there, it is at a unique, unique ID, which if they were going to do supplemental packaging in Avid, surely that's going to be a problem. So... Not sure what Avid's thinking on there, but it's just a kind of a gotcha of the difference between IMF packages. They've got an A and a V, obviously video and audio, that's great. And with Resolve, it's actually got audio underscore, but it's got a unique identifier. And it's got video underscore unique identifier. So I'm going to put it out into the Avid forum, see what's going on. But I just wanted to get you out there to say it's now mainstream. IMF is really starting to come to fruit. And this is an exciting time. Another key point here is that this isn't going to the TSP 2121-1, which is a ProRes file. These are all J2Ks at this stage. At that, uh, As you saw from here, I couldn't compress it down either, so it was kind of locked in to whatever the, I guess, non-compressed format is of J2K, which the file size would be a lot larger. But anyway, that's uh, Avid 2019.9, uh, and uh, hopefully that's a bit more information for you. So, as always... Hope you're having a great day and see you soon.